What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you guys can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. I'm having a little bit of a messy hair day. I get a haircut every week and today I'm like on Monday 6 or 7 so definitely today's the day where I start wearing cut. The top 10 things on my birthday wish list. You guys know I kind of do this every year and I kind of do this for myself because I get to see what I really want what I don't want and actually when I edit this video I kind of see how passionately I am about talking about every single item and so let's go ahead and get started but I do have some things on my closet so if you guys want them I'll be leaving them here for like two days and then I'll transition them into my Poshmark um, I have this coach uh, pillow tabby this is in the larger size 550 um, and it has this beat bag chain on it and then I have the, all the straps and everything with the dog tag um, I forgot to show you guys the, the bag looks practically in really good condition and so if any of you guys want this um, I'll be letting this go and I'll leave all the details and you can email me and first come first serve and I'll be going on my emails within the first two to three hours so I'll be responding a little bit faster but if you guys want this one perfect and the day that I post this video I can ship it out um, within the next two days I have this Burberry jumper I just feel like it's really not my style anymore I feel like my style is a little bit more fun and like feminine a little bit more girly kind of like things with this and um, I do have this sweater this is in a woman's small and it has a little Burberry uh, here on the um, sleeves and it is in good condition there's like very minimal pilling um, but it is really cute and this is still full price on the Burberry website so I have this Gucci loafers in a size 40 and a half that are just too small and I reach for my well these are the mules I reach for the loafers a little bit more and so, I'm going to show you guys that. And those ones will just come with like a random dust bag. Because I, I don't think I have the Gucci dust bag for them. And the next one is this Lagos bracelet. With the three X's. In really good condition. With the two X's. And our classic item. Well, I think all of it are things that you can still find full price on their on their own websites. On the Lagos, Gucci, Burberry, and Coach. So, I did have these that I was going to list on Poshmark. But I'm going to list them here for like a few, like for two days. And then if not, I'll put them on Poshmark. Um, just so you guys can get a little bit of a lower price. Because I know you guys like to buy some of my items. So... I did want to tell you guys that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go in into my birthday wish list. I have 10 items, and I'm pretty sure I'll end up probably getting either five or six of item, five or six of these items from this wish list. And starting with number one, number one is going to be the Byredo Black Stefan fragrance. I am literally almost done with my bottle, and this will be my third 3.4 ounce that I have finished. I love Black Siphon. It is my signature fragrance. If you guys ever get to see me in person, that is the fragrance of choice. And I have the hair perfume as well that I keep in most of my handbags. And I love, love, love it. And since I'm almost done, I was like, I'm definitely going to add this on my wish list. Well, I'm going to buy it regardless just because it is my signature scent. And who's a person without their signature scent? You know, if you know, you know. So, number one, Byredo, Black Siphon, and The 100. The next one are these sneakers that one of my favorite blogger friends put me on. She has a pair. I'll leave her Instagram down below. They're the Autry sneakers. They're really popular. I think one of the people from Blackpink has them, and I think that's how they became popular. I could be wrong. Um, but they're just like essentially a white sneaker with uh, the American flag on them, but they come in a lot of variations. There's one that has like, it's called the Dallas sneaker, so obviously I'm from Dallas, and so why would I not get a pair? I feel like these are going to be like the new Beijas. I feel like Beijas were popular three years ago, and they still are, and I still wear mine, but I think in the contemporary section for footwear, I feel like I kind of fell out of love with my Toy Bird sneakers, a lot of the contemporary brands. I definitely like brands that are focus on sneakers and beige i've actually been using them more than my troy birch sneakers i've been using those more than my um 
designer sneakers and so i feel like these ones would go perfectly well i honestly don't really need any more shoes but for the price point for around 200 bucks i think that they're wearable they'll go with everything um these are going to be like like i said like the beiges where when i wore beiges like in 2020 when i had my first you know few pairs i remember i would constantly get questions people would always ask me uh, are they worth it do i like it are they comfortable and i still get questions and love from, from them from time to time but they're not as they're not as like wow as they used to be, but I still love my beiges and I still wear them. But the Autry sneaker are definitely going to be kind of like that new, like I'm gonna put you guys on this sneaker. And it's a perfect sneaker under $200, under $250. I think that this is going to be the It sneaker coming next year. I know they've been popular for a little bit, but best to believe it takes a while for the trends to kind of hit here in Texas. And so best to believe these sneakers are definitely going to be the It sneaker, especially under the $500 price point. So if you guys have, have had these sneakers, I would love to have your opinion on them. Are they worth it? Do you like them? Do you not like them? And are they true to size? Because on my beiges, the first few ones that I got, I got 41s. And then they ended up being too loose over time, so I ended up going 40. So I'm a true 40 in beige sneakers. So I'm assuming for these ones, I am going to get a size 40 in them. I have such a small feet for, uh, for a god. Next item is going to be the Demilier, uh, Demilier, the Sylvie Clutch in Black. I love this bag. This bag definitely gives me like K-Row Bottega Veneta vibes. It's about under $600 with tax. I love the gold accent. I love the black smooth leather. You guys know I use my Demilier, um Vancouver flap all the time and it's one of the most complimented bags that i get asked about every time i'm out and about oh my god i love your bag where's it from uh how is it holding up like i love that bag and so the quality has been really good i've been putting it through hell and back within the last year so i feel like it's perfect time to go ahead and add one and i love that it, you can have it with the longer strap or with the top handle but just something about having like these really pretty like blackout glasses having the bag carry a top handle with the beautiful steamed out outfit whatever it is if it's a play suit if it's a suit if it's a tee and some shorts with the glasses whether sandals sneakers just wearing it it just gives me like boss vibes it gives me very much like effortlessly chic like oh yeah like i'm gonna have brunch with friends or i'm gonna go to work for a few hours it definitely gives me that type of vibe and so definitely it's a bag that i've been wanting like i said this is a bag that i don't really see a lot of people wear in texas and so you guys know i like things that are popular well who am i kidding i do like things that are pretty basic like my prada nylon and my alexander mcqueen sneakers can't ever take those out of my hand i'm always caught wearing those items but i love this bag i think this is for the contemporary market demilary and Poland are definitely two of my favorite brands that are out there that are killing the contemporary market and i have been seeing Poland bags a little bit more here in texas particularly in austin i've been seeing a lot a lot of Poland handbags when i'm out and about in austin but you cannot tell me anything like uh like with your wallet your little bougie hand sanitizer um your car keys everything yes 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 um i'll probably end up getting the black with the gold just because i'm a little basic but who knows i made a venture into color but this bag 10 out of 10 and this is the number one bag that i do want um in this entire list so if any of you guys um have been thinking about the bag that's next on my list it's definitely this one number four are going to be these clear Prada aviators. So I buy all my Prada glasses in Tom Ford and Miu Miu on a website called Easy Contacts. And yes, it, it is 100% legit and it's like Lazotica. And so I do have bought glasses from there. The quality, everything is the same as you were to buy it from Sunglass Hub, but it's about anywhere from 30 to 60% off depending on the brand and how new a style it is. But they are these clear aviators that just say Prada on the side. And I just think that they're so cute. I think that they're so neat, especially right now. I think I will be going back into my silver hair era. I usually do that around my birthday. My birthday is September 4th. You know, I didn't even say that. That's <laughs> I should have said that in the beginning of the video. But I will be turning 23 September 4th. I have the same birthday as Beyonce. And my birthday lands on a mon Monday. Yeah, in lunes. And so... um. I cannot believe I just realized that I didn't even say my birthday in the beginning of the video. I get also smith onda. 
I'm just kind of getting back into filming. But these are pretty, they're just goes with everything, goes with all my Prada loafers, all my little Prada things that I have around the around my little closet. And so I definitely love them. And they're just effortlessly chic. I can wear them during day, I can wear them during night. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them. And I've been really good at taking care of my glasses and not losing them, because last year definitely was the year of Sergio losing his glasses. And this year, I've been pretty good with keeping up with all my eyewear. Number five is going to be the Alaya Heart Bag. And this comes in at $12.90. I did see this at Neiman Marcus at the Houston Galleria last week in the Cognac color. It is definitely a lot more smaller than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. But honestly, once I turn it on and everything, it, it's perfect. I really don't need to carry a lot. I have my phone in my hand. And all I really need to put is like my key fob. Um my wallet and like a lip balm lip gloss and maybe like a powder and that's it and it's perfect it's cute it doesn't really have a lot of hardware it's perfect for nighttime it's perfect for daytime and it's a very conversation starter i think out of all the heart bags that are out there in the market from coach to chanel i think that the ally one fits my style a little bit more either 11.90 or 12.90 but if i were to buy this um, I will buy this from the Selfridges website because I think it's under a thousand dollars on the Selfridges website And if I have to pay tax and duties, it'll still be less than what I would it, I think here would be like 14 and some change to buy it here in the States But if I were to buy it through Selfridges after duty and everything I, I would still be saving a couple hundred dollars So I would buy this from the Selfridges website and it would just be like a I would expedited shipping And I'll get it here versus buying it in the store I think for me that makes more sense and I do like to shop on Selfridges just because you do get better pricing on the items for most brands and Alaya is one of those brands where you can get them a lot less. Number six, I definitely am in my soft girl luxury, quiet luxury era. Well, I feel like I've always been like that, but that's a whole other video for a whole other day. But I feel like I've been missing a designer belt that doesn't have any branding. I love my YSL belt, I love my Tom Ford belt, but I feel like I definitely need a belt that just doesn't have any branding or if I wanna let like another item pop. Um, I think that this Kate belt is absolutely perfect and it's called the Kate Bambi belt and it comes in at $380. I think this is perfect. This is chic. I don't really, I'm not a gold person, but I do want to get this in gold because I have been reaching for more gold items. I have been wearing a little bit more color. I've been reaching a little bit out of my comfort zone and the Demilia handbag is going to be cold so i feel like these two would go perfectly together and i think uh in the fall and the winter it will go really well with a lot of my camel coats and um a lot of my white sneakers and so i feel like i, I definitely need to get out of the silver phase a little bit but obviously i prefer silver over gold but i do want to get a gold classic simple belt um first and then i'll get a silver one because i can get away with wearing my ysl silver belt more than my big t tom ford one so i would go for the gold versus the silver to begin with and 380 is not a bad price for a designer belt like i said these this belt will last me forever i'll probably have this for like five six years i'll use it again and again and again and again it kind of has like a western texas knee vibe which you know i'm from texas so yeehaw perfecto con todos con el denim trousers everything the price point is really good and so i definitely want this belt and um i think they just come in two sizes like x xs small and then ml i'll probably end up getting the ml just so i have i can punch more holes and i have a little bit more uh, variety so i can wear it more higher waisted or lower waisted so i have a little bit more uh playfulness to play with number seven is going to be such an interesting item because i never thought i would actually like really pull the pull the trigger and actually buy something from this brand and it's probably one of the least expensive or if not the least expensive item in this video it's probably one of my top three favorite items i don't know who i saw this on instagram or on tiktok video i saw somebody have this bag um i think it was i don't know i forgot so this is the brahmin bag and it's 165 dollars. so this is already 200 dollars with tax under 200 dollars with tax okay so this is like 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 180 something and it is like a vanity bag but i have been i feel like i've been a little bit more into makeup i'm not wearing makeup today and i've been carrying like a little bit more blush like maybe an extra foundation you know prada's about to come out with their makeup collection so definitely want to get bits and bobs from that and so i really want like a nice makeup bag i love my dagny dover one but it was cute when it had very minimal makeup but now i like to carry a little bit more few options I like to have maybe two three foundations i like to have my moisturizer with me i like to have now makeup remover with me especially like if i'm hanging out with my friends 
or I leave the makeup bag in my car and so I, it's already there. Um, this 165 bucks, it's beautiful, it's really nice. Um, I'll probably either get this in a fun color or just end up going with the black. But I just want like a nice makeup bag. But what I also like is this is very transitional. So when I travel, I can actually use it as a makeup bag. But honestly, since it is a vanity bag and a lot of brands have their own version of vanity bags, I wouldn't mind actually carrying this like an actual handbag. So I can use it to put like jewelry. I can use it to put makeup, which is the primary use that I'm going to use it for. But I can also use it as a handbag. So it's kind of like a two-in-one versus my Dangling Dover. As much as I loved it, I've had it for like three years. I can't really use it as a bag, but the Brahmin one would be cute to add like a little bit of gold with a shiny croc leather embossed detail uh, to use that as a handbag. So it's kind of like a two-in-one, kind of like a, like a hundred dollars each for like as far as the versatility. I know I'm gonna use this a lot, and like I said, I have been carrying a little bit more makeup than I usually would. And my Dagny Dover one is like I always have to kind of like pick and choose and sacrifice what I do and what I don't want to put in there. And now that I'm gonna have longer hair, I'm planning to grow my hair maybe like another inch or two. I definitely want to have like a little mini brush. I want to have like um, my powder plate to like you know pull my hair, maybe like a razor to sh if I need a shape. So I want to have like a little bit more things to put in there just so. I have my old dolled up kit and so especially now that I have long hair those those hair products are no joke they take a lot of space and this looks like it will fit and accommodate everything so this baby is definitely one of the top three because it's going to be one of the most useful items out of this entire video baby and Ms. Brahmin I'm sorry I've never purchased anything from you I'm sorry I've never doubted you I've always been rooting for you but this year we are going to be in Brahmin girls I definitely love this and for the price point uh, I love it even more. Number A is going to be another fragrance. It's going to be Tom Ford Ombre Leather versus Byredo Black Saffron. I'm almost done finishing it, but I still have enough for my birthday. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, I finished the bottle like maybe like uh, two months ago. So I definitely need to re-up on this. I should have purchased it the last four or so, but I totally forgot. But I need this. I need this 3.4. I think it's $195, $190. I love this fragrance. I've been through like three or four bottles of this. This is another signature scent. I would say Byredo Black Saffron, uh, Byredo Mix Emotions, Carolina Herrera Bad Boy, Other Perfume, and Tom Ford Ombre Leather are like my top four fragrances. But I'll say Ombre Leather and Black Saffron are my top two like runners. And so I definitely need to re up on this. It's something that I will also use a lot. I mean, it's my sig one of my signature fragrances. So I, I don't think I can go any much longer without this fragrance. So uh, definitely one that I would definitely get up before my birthday because what's life without your signature scent so that little by riddle black saffron is what keeping me alive these days but i want to finish it i'm just going to go into uh the nearest by riddle counter i'm just going to re-up on the fragrance because i cannot live my life without number nine is probably going to be one of the most basic items you guys know i'm not a big jewelry person i only have a few necklaces i just have the same watch which i'm not wearing um i'm just not a big jewelry i don't really like things on my neck on my like other than a like simple jewelry but I do want to get the Van Cleef uh, Clover necklace, probably with the Mother of Pearl with the white gold. Um, just a sim simple one, just to see how I would take care of it. Um, also, because if I re-up, like if I get the bracelet, that's like, you know, $5,000 with tax. I kind of want to start off soon because I also have lost jewelry. Like, when I go out and about, I've lost necklaces, like Lana necklaces. I've lost a Lagos bracelet. I woke up with, like, one earring off. That's a diamond earring. So, I have definitely not been good in, with my jewelry. So, I definitely want to get something that's expensive, but not, like, over... Like, it's expensive, but not, like... $5,000 expensive so I think I want to get the larger version I think it's gonna be super cute I wear a lot of silver I want to test it out to see if I like it and I would see that would be like one of the necklaces that I would never take off unless if it like clashes with something else that I'm wearing but I want it I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it this birthday but I thought I would add it in if you guys have had any of the Van Cleef jewelry which I know is very popular here in social media I would love to see if it's worth it or not worth it should I get it or should I not get it this is a question that I'm really going to ask you guys because um, it is still like a lot of money. It's a lot, a lot of money, but I want to see if it's worth um, the money. But I know that they hold their value in jewelry. So I know like even five years from now, even if I don't really wear it anymore, I know I can give it to my mom and my mom would wear it and she would wear it all the time. You know what I mean? Like I have had things in the past like jewelry, little bags and stuff where I know if I don't like it, my mom would appreciate it. So, uh, I kind of want to get the, the little clover necklace, see how it goes and go from there. And number 10, this is probably top three items. I definitely do want this. This is another somewhat basic, but I don't think it's super basic. Um, it is an Hermes, Hermes silk scarf. 
I want to get it. I don't know what size. I don't know what dimension. I don't know how variation I want it. I really don't know what I want. I just honestly want to go into the store and spend like a good 45 minutes looking at everything or even an hour girl like i want to take my time i want to go and open the drawers i want the essay to show me like all the they're probably gonna hate me but you know it's expensive so i want them to show me like the small ones the big i probably want like a bigger one i want to see how to like and i want to buy like the little ring that comes with it how to tie it how to wear it with the button up how to style it with the t-shirt like i want like a nice hermes silk scarf that i will have forever and ever and ever and ever and so i don't really know anything about scarves like I don't really even know how to tie them, how to use them. I can't even, I can barely even tie my own shoes. So I definitely want to play around with it. Like I want to go in, pick the perfect one, what will look good in my skin tone, how much versatility. And I just want to have like a beautiful Hermes silk scarf that I can tie around or I can have multi-purpose. I can use it multi-purpose, like how I can different style it. So I definitely do want that. I feel like I wear like a lot of simple outfits, like black, white, cream, um, uh, gray and so baby blue and so I feel like having like a fun colorful scarf will definitely add a pop of color in a lot of my very simple minimalistic outfits I like very minimalistic things with the twist like this shirt that has all this embellishment detail on it but I definitely do want to go into the store and just kind of play around with it and just see how I'm just gonna figure it out and then from there I would know if I want it or not but I've been thinking about an Hermes scarf for a hot minute so I think it's definitely something that I do quiero jugar and just play with it. Just play, play, play with it. But yeah, guys, these are going to be the top 10 things that are, are on my birthday wish list. That if you have had any of these items or if you have a, if you have, or if your birthday is and during Virgo season, I would love to know when your birthday is. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I love and appreciate you so much. There will be a little bit of transformation on my face pretty soon, so... Um, stay tuned for that because I'll definitely be talking about that pretty soon and I'll see you guys on the next video and I'll leave the links for everything linked down below and if you're interested in any of the items I'll put my email uh, with all the details down below. Bye guys and thank you so much and I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao!